Hi everyone, Claude Diamond here with a gut sales tip, or better he said, a contracts tip. Contracts, we talk about them all the time, particularly in real estate, or all facets of business. Should they be long, 18, 20, 100 pages, or should they be one page, like in a letter of intent, or maybe in a lease purchase, one and a half to two pages? I'm of the belief, and I'm a recovering attorney, there's a diploma back there somewhere, um, that a contract should be short, to the point, contain the important features like the location of the property, the price, the date, um, the subject matter or description of the property, the names of the parties, it should be signed, it should be dated, I think I said that already, and it basically, it should be bound by some kind of consideration, a uh, promise for performance or money for performance or something of that nature in a unilateral or bilateral contract. So my point being, and I don't want to sound legalese here, is keep your contract simple, use large fonts, and you'll see that people will sign them more readily. The worst thing you can do is have an overcomplicated contract uh, that's too small, that uh, uses too much legalese, people don't understand that, and then they call Mr. Attorney. And sometimes when you have too many people in the kitchen, what happens to the turkey, okay? Um, simpler is better. Steve Jobs said that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. In real estate, our goal is to get the agreement signed. Keep it simple, keep it logical, use plain language, and you'll, you'll do more deals. Okay, you can do the world's most extensive contract and have every little paragraph and everything that some tricky guru or attorney wanted to put in there. But is it going to get the deal done? We're in business for one reason. What is it? To make money today, to get appointments today, to get contracts signed today. Keep your contracts simple. Get right to the point with the price and terms on them. Yes, have what we saw uh, exculpatory or escape clauses in there. So it's subject to getting out of the contract. That's important to put in there so that um, if you have X amount of days to inspect the property, you uh, subject to finding a tenant buyer or a signee if you're arbitraging the pro uh, property. You can put all these different things in there to protect you. Always have a fire escape in your contract so you can get out of it within a given time period. Also make sure that if you're putting up the money that it is refundable. If you're getting money, make sure it's non-refundable after a certain time period. And by all means, every contract that you do where you're controlling your property should have the right of assignment. You can put and or signs in the principal titles on the top, or even better yet, and this is my style, have a specific paragraph that allows you to sublet, sub, sublet a transfer or convey your rights to a third party. This is arbitrage. Some people call it wholesale. I call it arbitrage. So you can take that piece of paper and sell it to somebody else because it has value. Contracts are the lifeblood of doing real estate, but use simple agreements and you'll see the magic happen so much more often rather than I'll think about it, I have to take it to this attorney or that person or Uncle Harry in Milwaukee. Keep it simple and you'll get more deals done. This is Claude Diamond. I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Nobody, nobody deserves good contracts and success more than you. Take care.